Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start off, and obviously this is a Bitcoin video. Thank you for the likes, all that good stuff. Let's start off with the uh, Caprol Bitcoin Macro Index currently in expansion. Uh, and we did say in previous videos that when this does head into expansion, when it heads green, when this indicator turns green, uh, it's super, super bullish. Uh, bar like a couple examples uh, where, where we have topped around these areas, right? But as of right now, I am currently building a Bitcoin long position because of this thing, this measures the on-chain, it measures open interest, it measures quite a lot of things on the market. Uh, and yeah, it's just a quite a reliable indicator to say the least. So uh, yeah, I am currently DCAing into a long position right now. If we do head down, we head underwater a little bit, it's absolutely fine. Okay, I do think we head up fairly soon. We've been consolidating for a hell of a while now. Uh, one thing we will say here is yes, uh, these miners are still kind of pulling back their operations a little bit uh, and that cost for mining is going down. Uh, that is typically a bearish or neutral sign, but we have seen little hints of it heading up recently over the past couple weeks. So uh, we will take a keen eye to this one. And if this does want to start heading bullish, then uh, it's great for Bitcoin. Besides that thank you to all the uh, patreon members you get free signals every day i wake up right every day i wake up i do my uh, technical analysis and i put it in here for the, all the trade setups i'm looking for so feel free to sign up for any of these uh, and then besides that we bring it back meme of the day here this is a classic one of course the meme <laughs> the uh, the ethereum logo looks like a wallet that's empty beautiful stuff here <laughs> all right uh so moving on let's jump into the chart we've got lots of stuff to get through today but overall yeah we are compressing here on the hourly we've got volume coming down this blue line uh, we also have volatility coming down uh, and until this blue line gets above the yellow and red lines and again these are just moving averages of volume right so when uh, when these are poised like this it's it's uh uh, it's it's not bullish, but it's it's uh, ind indicative of us being in a move with momentum, right? And you can see that kind of correlating pretty nicely on the hourly there. So when these do kind of cross towards the upside again, that is going to be the sign I'll be looking for for a major bullish pump arena. And if we do get this pump, I am expecting us to blast through 70k. Uh, in our attempt, uh, was this yesterday or the day before? Uh, we did uh, we did tap on the 60 minute volume weighted average true range, which is super important. This is where we've been kind of ranging between here uh, for quite some time. If I do bring up the right indicator, here we go, or the right chart. And we can see, yeah, the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band. Uh, we have been ranging between these bad boys uh, quite some time right now. So, uh, yeah, we will be looking for these to break towards the upside at some point here over the next few weeks. Uh, we do have this wick here on the daily. So, absorbing that wick towards the other side uh, does make a bit of sense here. So, maybe coming down to about 67.5, somewhere around that area. Uh, and then we have the doomsday line of death here, which we do need to hold uh, for our run to continue uh, or continue in the in the shorter term anyway we can see that yes we've hit this uh we hit this around 26.8 we hit it around 40k and we hit it recently around 58k and 61k so yeah uh, just treading along that line, line right now the bullish pressure does come through around this zone this is why i'm kind of building a position here hoping that we do head up if we head down it's not a problem we will find a short down to this four hour volume weighted atr band okay uh, and also if you do get trapped in a position under this thing then uh, typically what will happen here after breaking down uh, is actually we retest it so you could probably get out uh, at a break even or um or a little bit of profit here if this does want to try and retest that from the other side in a bearish scenario, right? Right now, I am I'm fairly bullish. Okay, we also have hash rate increasing here, which is fantastic. Okay, this is a great sign for these uh, crossing towards the upside. And we talked about this in yesterday's video. When these cross towards the upside, we shall get a long signal on the investment side. Okay, uh, this is the last long signal at 29.2. Okay, and that was closed when these cross towards the downside at 61.7. So fantastic stuff there on that trade. Now we're looking to build of position as these do uh, try and recover and typically when we do see them red like this uh, it's it's actually a better sign uh, the reason for that is usually when they turn red they just skyrocket towards the downside if we if we're breaking structure and losing momentum and, and turning bearish essentially in the macro right uh, th these two moving averages will just blast towards the downside uh, and yeah it's never really a good sign but as of right now they are holding fairly strong we are just kind of oscillating around them with this raw hash rate so what i will say with this is yeah it's looking it's looking okay and thank you for liking the video as well guys if you are getting the value be sure to do so uh, and yeah i mean this trend line we have moved of course but uh this is essentially the measure move we're looking at right now for us to potentially get to about 79k but we've moved this up here so it's just more points hitting it on the top side as you can see there so not the end of the world but i would still say that we have broken out here we've retested and now pushing off from this zone does make a 
a lot of sense. If you're a bit more cautious here, guys, you could probably wait for about 73k, okay? All-time high zones uh, where that four-hour volume weighted ATR band is. If we get above that, uh, I do just expect us to go fairly parabolic from there up to 80, then probably some more consolidation, and then a blast off from there. Uh, if we do want to continue uh, heading up here. If we want to head down, then uh, you guys know the drill. Okay, we are going to continue building a position here, but um, yeah, I mean, on this retest is essentially where we either get out or uh, we just have a massive position where we, we've got a lot, like a lot uh, of... <laughs> of accumulated Bitcoin, right? And uh, from that point, we can expect to potentially get rejected there. And if it does get rejected and breaks the initial structure there like so, right, then uh, what we can do is actually enter that, uh, exit that position at a break even or a small profit as we talked about. Uh, or if we do head up from this point and reclaim this line and this just becoming a trap, then uh, we'll just be in a massively good positive stance uh, for this run. Uh, and then we can just bang up from that point. And I have a call. There we go, get rid of that. Uh, so yeah. Carrying on here, uh, that's pretty much that on the long term. Short term, as you can see, beginning a little bit of a pump here. It's a good sign. Again, getting over that one hour kind of uh, diagonals towards the downside. These trend lines, getting over them, retesting them, then pumping is typically a good sign. So uh, we'll look to potentially get up to about 69.5 initially. And if we do bring up our liquidation heat maps here as well, we can see that, uh, yeah, it's pretty much uh, along the same path here. We have 69.5, a uh, couple orders here, uh, 50, 53 mil. And 53 mil is achievable for these market makers to go for rather than attacking these bigger blocks anyway and sh shaking up the market, right? If they want to keep it less volatile for the time being, then, uh, yeah, I mean, going for these smaller liquidation orders makes sense okay uh, so yeah i would probably say it's more likely we head up to 69.5 but if we do want to head down here i mean there is merit to justify that of course as we talked about on the daily right we talked about this wick potentially being absorbed down to 67.3 so if we do bring up that liquidation heat map again and just kind of cross reference this stuff uh, obviously my head is in the way so uh yeah Let's see if i can is that gonna work <laughs> yeah see if i can what was it 60 60, 67.3 from the moment. Oh, I've just messed up everything. Oh, no. This is bad. This is real bad. Let me just check this one sec. Yes, 67.5, we'll call it. 67.5. Let's just take a look at this thing uh, as I do just completely ruin my whole setup. 67.5 here. Yeah, just below these areas. So I think it's more likely we do head up than down. Uh, but if, if these guys want to just take these orders off, then uh, they can, right? Uh, they do control what this book looks like. Uh, and then they just target the retail orders for the quick 10 to 100 mil moves they can get, right? Uh, so that's pretty much that on that front. Besides that, there's not really too much else to talk about here on the Bitcoin front. We are just waiting to see uh, if we can get some momentum going towards the upside. If we can do, and it's looking pretty good right now, I will say, if we can do, then uh, yeah, I mean, the long is looking pretty good. Okay, we did get in this long around 69 two-ish when we did break uh, these kind of areas, right? Uh, and yeah, it, it did retrace, of course, and retest. This can happen, uh, but it's not the end of the world. Obviously, uh, we are bullish right now, and I am building this position for the long term, right? I'm not just gonna not just gonna let this thing die. I'm gonna be adding to it if we head down, uh, and then obviously have a, a major stop loss, a lot lower. We're talking like 62, something like that. If it is a major crash scenario, but besides that, yeah, I'm just building a position, looking for those lower entries, and then looking to bang it to 70, 80, 90, 100 thousand dollar. Bitcoin and that's cool. Uh, next up we do have some altcoins and meme coins and micro coins that we will be looking at in future videos so be sure to stick around for that but that is going to be it for this small video uh, and thank you for liking it. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the future. Well the next video not well the future is the next yeah.